Okay, I have my chart open. So now who is creating this particular URL? Is it me? Is it you? Or who is creating this? No Ranjan. So this particular URL is being designed uh, by the people who design this uh, website or who design this particular URL. Okay. So they asked or they created this particular URL for us to consume it. We are the consumers. Okay. So this is the URL. And for this URL, this is the API. So using this API, we are creating it. They just gave us some results or requirements like, okay, if you want five results, go ahead and ask for five results and we'll give you five results. Okay, so here are the five results. Now my requirement is, a business requirement is, when we go into a particular URL or any particular API, they want us to extract the information and store it in the orchestrator as an um, as a UiPath uh, UiPath orchestrator item. So what we can do is give me ideas. What are the steps that we need to do to send the information to orchestrator as a queue item? And why do we need to send it as a queue item? Please answer why do we need why do we need to send these items as queue items? Is there any use when we send this as a queue item? And what kind of bot is it? Is it a single bot or is it a performer dis performer and uh, dispatcher bot? We get set and get status of each transaction is what Nagraj is saying. It's for multi-bot. Okay, what are the uses of multi-bot Alekia? Why exactly? Alekia, please unmute. Yeah, actually. Like, uh, mm. multiple bots can work on the same queue item at a time. So, it will be done, uh, work will be done faster. Mm, it cannot work on the same queue item, but it can work, they can work like on the same queue. Yeah, yeah, okay. same queue. So if we have, let's assume that there are five items. Let's assume that there are 100 items. Okay. If you have 10 bots, then 10 bots can run simultaneously and each bot can pick one item at a time and complete it. So that is the use of having this in the orchestrator queue. But what if user don't want to have this as a performer and dispatcher mode? They want to have it only as a single process. Then what is what is the step? Suman, can you tell? I cannot hear you. I mean, like performer and dispatcher. Uh, so, user don't want to have it in a performer and dispatcher mode. He want it in a single, he or she wants it in a single process. Then how can we do this? But he want to use a queue. See, in RE framework, there is something called first run. Okay. So, what we will do in first run is, uh, we will first read the API call and move all the items as new items into orchestrator. Whenever process gets into orchestrator queue item, get transaction and data, then it will pick one item at a time, then it will process. And it will complete for all the items and then it will go for new items. Okay. So that's how we can check it.
Now here there is something called limit. But what if we want something called, I don't want the first five results. Skip is equal to five. So when I do skip is equal to five, maybe I just need to have something else. Just a second. Send parameters. Let me just see through the APA. We'll have APA documentation, APA FDA GOV. APA FDA GOV documentation. So here we will get to see all the details about this API, like how to use this API, when to get and what to get a result. So all these details will be available over here. So API limit equal to one. This is about drug. Let's see if we have anything else. So this is about food. Authentication device endpoints, foot endpoints, so this is the foot endpoint, adverse report, overview, examples of API queries. So if you want to have something like, okay, I want to have a report date, and the report date should be something like this. You can also give it here. But all I'm seeing is how to add a limit. Adverse queries. Try it. Okay. Overview. Is someone typing something? Okay, let's go ahead and pull up some information. Okay, then add sequence. So we'll create a dispatcher first. And this dispatcher is for um FDA food okay all I need to do over here is HTTP call and in this HTTP call what is the endpoint that we are going to send is what we need to see so let's go with the endpoint this is my endpoint Okay, so if I go ahead and give it over here, preview, I have limit of one, but I have a total 22,200 records, but I have only one result. If I add anything, for example, if I need to add authentication parameters, add a parameter, add a URL segment. So what is this URL segment? This is a URL segment. The limit is a URL segment. Limit is five. Maybe a parameter. Let's check it. Five. Let's see. Preview. Okay, this is still getting it to one. Let's change it to add HTTP header. Preview. No. Request builder get our post. Preview. Okay. Now, if you see here, if you are using get or post, add or parameter, add parameter, get or post, then it's giving me five results. So in the same way, I will give also give skip. Skip how many results? See how, what is the first result? This is David and United States. So if you refresh, you will still get same. But if you go ahead and if you go ahead and give add parameter, and five, I'm going to skip first five results, preview. 
so five results are skipped and i am getting the next five results now we are getting united states and cr so that's how you are going to add parameters into the website or into the url let's go ahead and hit on okay and let's go ahead and give out all the results secure password response content str every time you get a response it's a response of string okay now how to convert this into a json instead we worked on one activity how to convert a string of json into a json format deserialized json exactly so what is the difference between deserialized json and deserialized json array json array works only with array values whereas deserialized json gets items from whole url okay the more easier way to understand that one is see results is an array is it right because it contains multiple items and it has a square bracket so the complete object must be deserialized with deserialized object but array results must be deserialized or results must be sent to deserialized json array now when you go ahead and check for if you go ahead and add the items let's write it or let's try to write text file okay and in this let's go ahead and give j object response dot to string and the file name is fda dot json okay now when we write this one run file so you are going to get everything just refresh it here fda json so i got metadata disclaimer everything terms limit results everything but what if i want only results but that to only the first result how to get results first let's see so i'll have a breakpoint over here the best thing is you can use debug points and you can check the results in the watch or in the immediate window so what is j object response how to get results can anyone tell me i want to get results or how to get this results go ahead and chat get method we already have all the results i need to get limit or total json of total is wrong because you need to give a correct path of how to get a result let me show you how that will happen now this is the complete json response now out of this response you need to give key and the key is this meta meta has all these values so if you want to give or if you want to just give a total as a key it will not come correctly it will show as null but if you give it as the correct path okay like meta so if you give meta then you will get all the objects in meta now if i want to get detail about meta 
something inside matter then that is results now i have the values for results there are three properties property 1 property 2 and property 3 so 0 5 and these values so if i want to get the value for total then i need to give meta results of total okay now this is what or this is the path i need to show to get the correct result now will every time will it be the same path is the question the answer is yes every time it will be in the same path because that is how the json is designed if there is a change in the json then developer will inform you who developed this particular json they will try a proper documentation and you need to check with that okay now how to get the value for this results the object of results okay let's try j object response of results okay the problem that happened is i got all the results now how can i get only the first result How can I get only the first result? Object response result. Okay, Ranjan, you are wrong. Alekia, you are right. So, you remember this is results is an array. So, how to get the zeroth index of an array? You need to just pass in the index value 0. Okay, now I have all the values of the first object. But the problem is I need to have details about address 1. How can I get the address 1 of the first result? Aleke, you are right. Anil, you are right. Just make sure that you are giving out things in double quotes if it is a key. Okay. That's it. So, and if you have observed, this came in a different value because when I, when I made an API call, this gave us a new response. That is the reason this is not same as this one, but you are right. Okay. What if I want fourth result? Fourth address. Alekia, you are wrong. Yes. So, indexes are starting from 0. So, the third index will be the fourth result. Nikhil, you are right. Okay. Now, all I need to do is see. This is a object. But results is a array array of json objects now how to convert this into an array like we need to iterate all the items so what i'll do after deserializing i will also deserialize json array okay and i will give what so if you see here in this output we have an array inside results so i need to give results as a answer so 
j object response of results dot to string okay and here in this i'll give control k j array of results now if i want to loop in for all the values then i can do something like for loop okay and in this for each i will give something called json object because in an array we have all the objects okay and here we have list of items that is j array of results and index you can get it now how can i get this result let's add some value add a log message and in this log message i want item how can i get country so when you are using item every every flower bracket every object will be an item how can i get country out of it it's not first item j item of country country so thing you need to see is in for each you have item right so you just need to give item of country okay this is country i just need to give the key value when i give the key i will get a value okay let's go ahead and run this and then let's see run file okay i have some result and the result is united states so for all the items i have all the results okay now i need to add this into orchestrator queue add items to orchestrator queue add queue item now when you see the queue item this also contains a dictionary of values you can do something like that or you can just pull in the values so add queue item okay and i can just give out information item information like country in this country item of country dot to string okay now i need to give the queue name as well so what is the queue name let's go ahead ui path workspace refresh so i'll go into my orchestrator So I'll go into my orchestrator and I will add the value. Bindu, please turn off your video. Thank you. In the queues, let's go into queues and let's hope that this should work. So what is the queue that we have? And here you can get in the resources and you can see the results queues in-house scm and scm you have these two so add queue create a queue and fda so this is my queue name this is fda queue name okay now every time i do i also add all the values 
but if you give only country then it will not give as a correct result so let's add few more details city address also will add city selection city item of city dot to string the next one would be i'll tell you so the next one is address so when someone asks you why do you use private property the answer should be just simple if you don't want the execution details in logs for example if i don't want the details that are added over here address one or any detail over here uh, for example this address dot to string okay here so what happens when i don't add private let's have a breakpoint and debug okay so in the output this is the logs where the details also will be stored in the orchestrator for each executing step into and if you see body executing add queue item executing item closed okay just remember these two things step into step into step into okay now when i go back to my orchestrator i have one result so i can see the results over view transactions this is a new item and view details i have all these details now let's go ahead and continue without breakpoint let's continue okay i have all the results and i have all the items updated over here five new items now let's enable breakpoint sorry let's enable this item continue so let's enable this particular private and for all this one also let's enable private let's see okay and debug the items private is something where you don't want to see the details in the logs for example these will be available when there is customer information or when there is a password that you should not store that's when you can use now can you see this add queue item is not available or is showing it as private now when we change this one or when we continue the details of it will not be stored maximum okay now this private property though it will be available for everything you should use it when it is required and uh, this normally should be available for passwords and any kind of data that should be secured that is an interview question that you can just answer probably and let's continue and see what are the values now how can you make sure that these are unique values view details if you see here this detail is also available in the next item so let's refresh because this particular detail view details seattle 3429 is also available over here view details seattle 3429 how to make sure the orchestrator values are unique what will you use to make sure the item orchestrator items are unique reference edit there is something else that you need to use you need to enforce unique references so this will be enforced only when you are creating new item or new queue item you cannot change unique items while working or while you are have already a queue item so create a new queue item fda and enforce unique references add for unique references to be available you also need to send in the value for example this is address 1 right let's understand or let's try 
country name should be a unique value. I should have only one United States in my orchestrator. So let's go ahead and give it as item of country dot to string. Now when I debug this one, let's see what will happen. The first one goes through. Okay, we have one item that is available. Where is this? Yeah. So we have one item that is available in the orchestrator queue. View transactions. That is with reference United States. What if I get a same United States again? Add queue item error. Duplication is not possible. Reference. Okay, but customer asked me, see, we will have United States, but somehow you need to make sure those are unique. Then how can I make sure that it is unique? Any ideas? You need to use United States, but there will be multiple locations where you get United States. So how can you make sure you get a key that is unique? out of this value. No one? Okay, my idea would be to add multiple keys as unique values. UPC number, maybe you can check with UPC number if it is unique. For example, report date, cannot be unique but what we can do is let's assume that the date event id event id can be unique because every time a new event id will be created so event id can be taken up so i will use united states along with united states i will give it as, as a event id item of event id dot to string and then let's add plus plus and then double quotes and then minus okay now when i run this file though i have united states i will have unique ids as event ids so this is completed it did not throw any any value kasim is correct but what i exactly did is instead of using uh, country and city i used event ids that is more unique now when i rerun this code or when i re-execute this code again then it will throw an error because already we have all the event ids listed if i just add the values this is what you will get it will not any add any value so that's how you maintain unique values in orchestrator now how can we consume this one directly use get queue item and you can consume it okay so one important interview question again when um, if interviewer asks you to add items only if there are no items in the orchestrator queue then how can you do that add the items only if there are no items in the orchestrator queue queue is empty then but how can you check if queue is empty answer is correct to check if queue is empty but how will you check if queue is empty get pending queue items something is correct over here so what we will do is before adding items to queue or before adding a for loop or even before making a http request all i will do is i will use get queue items get queue items and i will get queue name and that is fda and i will get only new items all the new items okay 
and there are interview questions like what are the different states of q items and here are the different states of q items new in progress failed successful abandoned retried and deleted all these are states new is when an item is added to the queue in progress is when an item is picked from the orchestrator but the item status is not set failed is when it is set as a failure successful is when you set it as success using set transaction item abandoned is when you take an item you did not set a transaction item for more than 24 hours and it will go into abandoned state retried if it is into failure and if you retry it again then it is in retried deleted when you delete it okay simple and here you get all the new items and you can also try with q items control k q items okay now here i will check if if okay if q items dot count if the count of q items if it is equal to 0 then only Guys, can you hear me? Yeah. So if Q item status is successful instead of new, then can we add same item again or will it throw error? So even though it is successful, if it is a unique item, you cannot add a duplicate item. Okay. Uh, you can just add uh, the same item, but the unique item should be disabled, then you can obviously add. So if Q items count is zero, it means that there are no new items then I will make a HTTP request. So all my values will be fetched and add how to, okay, let me just complete this one, then I'll go back. I will try to add these values. For each, and I will remove write text file, and then let's see it later. Now all the values will be updated or added only if the items are empty. Alec is asking how to just skip if there are duplicate reference values without throwing error. Simple. If you want to just skip the values for each loop, just open it. Private add queue item. There is something called continue on error. But this continue on error will exempt when there is any error. So there is something called exceptions that we can use. Try catch. Now let's catch something. And that is what kind of error list do we have? So outputs. So the type of error is add queue item error. Duplicate reference error code is 1016. We need to exempt only this particular error. So let's go ahead and go for exception. Let's get the type of exception first log message activities log let's get what type of exception it is log level is warning and exception dot type exception dot message exception dot get type dot to stream okay we will just get an exception and what the type of the exception. And I have added add queue item in the try catch block. The problem that's happening over here is the queue items count. If it is equal to zero, only then go into this, but it's not zero. That's the reason. So what I will do is if it is greater than zero for time being, I will add debug. Now when we continue, it will throw error. It will be picked over here. Add queue item failed. 
and the item is ui path core activities orchestrator http exception so this is the exception type that we need to consider or check okay instead of going with every exception so if i go with instead of orchestrate exception if i go with this one let's see okay exception i have add a new exception and this exception type let's add it ui path orchestrator http exception only exempt this exceptions this is what i am asking and exception delete so if it is orchestrator http exception then just log a message okay then this becomes exception okay and here you go now if i get only orchestrator http exception only then it will throw a warning and it will still continue let's debug and try run file so let's see it did not throw any error in the output also it just prompted stating that there is an exception other than that it didn't do anything it just went ahead and continued with the next item okay so let me stop over here and any questions our training program is completed for today so we discussed on how to add the items how to add items to orchestrator queue how to check with duplicate items everything one other thing that i would like to say is here you have deadline deadline is something where you need to complete that particular transaction item before a particular time that's the way how you need to see it so now dot add minutes okay i just i will just add uh, one minute so when i just add one minute then if it is added up now then within one minute this should be completed so that is the deadline okay so let's go ahead and see the values that is one important concept and postpone postpone is when you need to postpone the item for example i have some details now but there are some more details pending but that details i will get it only tomorrow so now dot add this and add days of one so by tomorrow don't process it today process it tomorrow that's what postpone is used for so let's run the file and let's see how data will be updated you can just see the values over here deadline and postpone are empty now if i just refresh now deleted okay i think there is some issue um that is because items started okay the items are deleted let's retry this one maybe the items are not deleted when i started it okay uh, let's try it again output get queue items if sequence is closed so if is not going to get the values so let's see why we are not getting the values if condition okay equal to okay or queue items queue items dot count equal to zero so anything you need to add the results so debug the file 
add the items to orchestrator. Okay, so let's continue breakpoint step into. So once the item is added, you can see the value over here. So the deadline is within a minute from now. This is in US time zone and it should be completed tomorrow. Sorry, it should be postponed tomorrow. It will go for abandon. Yes, it, it should go for abandon. Let's wait for some time and let's see. Okay. And let's go with this one. I don't think it will go for abandoned, but it will go for SLA breach. Abandoned, it will go only if you pick the item, but you did not set the transaction status. Okay. There is something called SLA breach that will be available in orchestrator dashboard home monitoring. Yes, no, it's not in in progress state, so it will not go into abandoned. Use. Yes, your transaction. It will be in new state only because we are adding queue items. We are not adding transaction items, but we set the deadline as we, this is the wrong way how to set a deadline. If it is tomorrow, then the deadline should be one minute later, the postpone item. That's how it should be taken up. But this will be in SLA failed state. View details. History. Create no comments that are added. And these are the values. Okay. So that is how you set postpone and a deadline for any transaction item or queue item. One thing is you cannot set postpone or deadline if you are adding bulk queue items. Remember that. With bulk queue items, you can add multiple items at one single shot, but there are multiple drawbacks with bulk, bulk queue items. So if you see with bulk queue items, bulk add queue items, there will not be any. So you cannot add JSON values, custom JSON values. You cannot set reference values. You cannot set your, you cannot add items that is uh, so if there is a queue and if the queue is set to unique items you cannot add items using bulk add queue items to orchestrator queue okay so those are the drawbacks that will come up with add bulk queue items okay so with add queue item you can have a lot of customization with bulk queue items you can just add the values nothing else so i'm stopping the recording